I know firsthand how quickly he can move and he knows exactly what he's doing, exactly what he's doing. This is the first time Louise Anton has spoken publicly about her ordeal at the hands of Rolf Harris. She felt no one would believe her until now. She says the entertainer indecently assaulted her in 2008 as they had their photo taken at a function. So I could feel as, as plain as day his hand running down my back and it rested on the top of my bottom and then he slid his fingers down in between and did that several times um, and I just, I just couldn't believe what was happening. I could feel every bit of what he did in true Australian fashion. I said, are you right? And just glared at him and uh, he looked at me and said, yeah, that feels good, done it. With this smirk on his face and I just, I don't know, everything just started spinning and I just, I couldn't believe this had happened. Rolf Harris grew up in this Perth suburb. Children adored him. Everyone was proud of their local hero. After moving to the UK, he still made regular trips home, like here in 1966. Signed a few autographs for one of the uh, Commonwealth policemen there, for his two daughters. Signing autographs at the airport before he'd even got off the runway. But over the years, some saw a side to his character kept well away from the TV cameras. <laughs> We're away. I'm Jake the Peg the Delete. Rolf went from being the good, clean family man that my grandmother admired to being a dirty old man a very dirty old man who was opportunistic and thought that he could get away with a level of humiliation that I had not experienced. Jane Marwick is a writer and broadcaster. She interviewed Harris on the radio in 2001 and says she was also groped by him as they posed for a photo. His hand sort of landed in the middle of my back and his fingers and hand worked their way around to my breast where they stayed out of shot. I remember him breathing rather heavily and standing there and thinking, this is unbelievable. Her co-presenter at the station saw the incident. Even though I'd heard things, I didn't expect it to happen right in front of me. I wanted to knock his head off. I, I wanted to physically attack him because of what he'd just done to my colleague and friend. Uh, yeah, I was angry. Um, and Jane, Jane basically stopped me. She said, please, no, don't, don't, don't. I said, what do you mean, don't? And she said, well, it's Rolf Harris. This is a wobble board. Paul Redman worked on a number of shows Harris appeared on when back in Australia. He'd tell female colleagues to steer clear of the man they nicknamed the octopus. I used to warn girls, just look, be careful. Don't go for the big cuddle at the end because um, he has been known to, to uh, grope. Uh, not many of them believe me. Um, and unfortunately, to their detriment, that's why I, I know six girls who have been touched by Rolf. He was known as a family entertainer, but Rolf Harris will be remembered as a man who exploited his fame to indecently assault young women on both sides of the world. Jonathan Samuels, Sky News, Perth.